Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host, Phoenix, and today I actually have a new guest. I dragged them from the back alleys of the Discord server. I, I baited them with some Verasica <laughs> Sandies, which is out in the open. And uh, this, is, this oh, wow. is Sage, my good old, one of my editors. <laughs> Yeah, the whole British guy. Yeah, the whole British guy. They do the whole art thing, too. <laughs> yeah, just on the side, you know, not too big of a deal or anything. Yeah, but but you make all the, like, the, the cool Vox things that I like, and I, I like that. <laughs> you make, you're... Yeah, I do the whole animation thing. Yeah. You're and you're doing great at it, buddy. Here's a gold star. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, I borrowed it from, like, the American flag, so now there's only, like, 49 states, but at least you get to have a star. <laughs> oh, I don't want that shit. Get it out. <laughs> Why you don't like the American thing? <laughs> <laughs> Ew, the whole American thing. I don't want your American star. <laughs> but the... <laughs> Brother, ew, what is that? <laughs> but anyway, enough making fun of you for being British. Today, uh, we decided that since we both like Has Been Hotel, I think the best book to break you into the whole Wattpad book club thing is your favorite ship. Well, at least it contains one of your favorite characters, at least. I don't actually know if you shipped this. I'm assuming yes. It would suck if you didn't. <laughs> well, the thing, I see cute ship art and i'm like oh i kind of ship it mm -hmm. so it works gotcha i found this i i was shipping this when uh during the whole has been hotel uh show thing <laughs> and uh this is out the of whole has been thing yeah get ready for me saying the whole blank thing throughout this entire thing <laughs> don't worry <laughs> <laughs> this is Adam X Lute, Undying Love. Uh, it's very much uh, ends in tragedy for these two, but you know, it was it was fun while it lasted, I guess. <laughs> yeah, which was about three days, but hey, who cares? Yay! <laughs> anyway, this is uh. Yeah, we love them. Yeah, I love them. You you like Adam a lot and whatnot, and I I see why. I do. I I really do. <laughs> <laughs> do, we, do we? This whole thing, we're gonna end up in horny jail. I I, I already did the whole Vox hey. reader. <laughs> and now we're yeah, just... you get your moment. Let me have mine. Yeah, we just won't send this to Elf. I'll make sure Pincore does not ever let anyone know this video was uploaded. <laughs> He'll never Bad find out. Yeah. <laughs> this was made by a user called Not a Dimer One. Labeled as complete, which is good for me, because I don't want to read an incomplete book. It just- it just has, uh, Hasbin Hotel AU, Adam X Loot, photo credit to Scout-ish. Oh, Scottish, um... <laughs> <laughs> Scout-ish. Well, it says Scout underscore ish, so I, I didn't know it was Scott- okay, anyway. My brain is so big right now, it, I amaze myself every day. <laughs> Did you know that if you have a bigger brain, you're dumber than if you have a smaller brain? So you just called yourself dumb. Yeah. I'm, I'm so big brain that I, I'm actually small brain, you know? <laughs> it, it's actually peanut sized. Yeah. Actually, it looks like a chicken breast. There's no wrinkles to retain any, like, information. <laughs> that is the most disgusting <laughs> thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Well, you don't- you don't know that? That's why, like, your brain has wrinkles, that way it can retain memories and, like, process information. So if you have a smooth brain, that means you're stupid. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, so you must have a smooth brain. Oh, I- okay. yeah, that thing was, uh, like, well, what, what's the tool called? It's like when you sand something, my- my brain was sanded. <laughs> Sandpaper? I guess it's sandpaper. I don't know. It's been a while since they've been on a construction site. It's just what they use on like the on the closet to smooth out the edges so it's not rough, you know? So, take on all the Anyway! <laughs> it's been a while since I've been on a construction site. What were you doing there the last time? Oh, I was just fooling around and whatnot. I was, uh, well, I went there with my dad because, uh, he, he's a construction guy. 
So he would bring me there during uh-huh. summer because we're not gonna pay for a babysitter to watch me. So I used to play in empty houses <laughs> and, and chase the ice cream truck that would go by the neighborhood. <laughs> I see. I, that makes a lot of sense. Hey! <laughs> asshole! <laughs> I'm just being honest, man. I, I almost thought you were going to drop a mate there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest, mate. Yeah, I thought you were going to be very British on me. <laughs> well, mate isn't just for British people. Oh, it isn't? Is it also... Oh, it's Australian too, right? Yeah, I'm not an Aussie. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Well, I don't know if you were, I like, British know. and Australian. What are you? <laughs> I'm... Well, considering that I introduced myself as British, I'm probably British. Oh, okay, go- okay, gotcha. I'm probably American, then. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really get that when you uh, when you first meet me and everything, but I'm, I'm very American. <laughs> I see yeah, yeah. I'm glad you told me. Yeah, you know, some, sometimes I get a little embarrassed about where I come from, but you know what? I'd rather be round and proud about it, you know? You gotta rip, rip that red, right, and blue, you know? <laughs> You've got to be who you are for, yeah. your, for your country's pride. Be who you are for your pride. <laughs> All right, I got a fancy coin. It's American, by the way. Very oh. shiny. Yeah, I know. Made in 2022. Nice. Alright, do you want to be heads or tails? Heads never fails. Alright. That's dead. It's heads! You're reading first. Yeah! Does that mean I read first? Yes, you do! <laughs> You're the winner oh, of the lottery. I'm so excited right now. Yeah, this is kind of like the Hunger Games where if you get picked, you have to read first instead of like going to get drafted into like a death match, you know? But. <laughs> Uh, I see. I get it. Mm. Okay, it looks like we've got... It goes in chapters, but it's POVs for the different characters, which is really cool. Yeah. So, right now we are in Luke's point of view. After a long and gruesome day of training with Adam and the other exorcists, I was beat. I sluggishly made my way to my apartment. The thought of lying in bed was overwhelming me. When I reached my apartment door, I could barely open it. Real. I feel the same. (laughs) I was so sore, but before I went to bed, I needed to take a shower as I felt gross. I ran the water to a nice warm temperature and hopped in. After I was done, I couldn't bother putting on PJs. (laughs) So I just put on an oversized shirt and belly flopped in bed. I was so tired and could barely move. My eyes were slowly inching closer and closer together when all of a sudden my phone buzzed. At first, I just ignore it. A <laughs> A just ignored it. It couldn't be that important, but then it buzzed again and again. I got fed up and angrily grabbed it. They were texts coming from Adam. <laughs> oh boy. I could barely make out what he was saying. Then it clicked. He was drunk. He likes to get drunk, but he doesn't usually message me unless he's lonely. I just put it off for now as I was too tired to deal with a drunk Adam. I put my phone back down and tried going back to sleep. I should have known better, as in the moment that I love that. I should have known better, as in that moment Adam tried calling me. I angrily hung up and tried to go to sleep, but he called again, so I finally had enough and picked it up. Wow, okay. <laughs> Lou, you should come hang with me. <laughs> Damn, that's so Adam. <laughs> that is that is my Adam impression. Yeah. Adam stated with a slurred voice, No, sir, it's late and we have training tomorrow, I replied. You're no fun, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but I'm tired and I need to sleep. Whatever. I didn't want to hang with your bitch ass anyway. (laughs) Before I hung up the phone, I heard Adam start getting into a verbal fight with someone. I was fed up, but Adam was my closest friend and I didn't want him to get hurt. So I sluggishly threw my uniform back on and went to go and find Adam. He usually goes to the same bar as he's been kicked out of almost all the other ones. It's called... (laughs) A taste of heaven. 
Pretty cheesy, I know. As I walk in, I see him face planted on the table. I walk up to him to see if he was okay. Sir, are you okay? I say as I shake him. He slowly looks up at me. Everything hurts, he whimpers. Okay, let's take you home, sir. It's late. I don't want to go home. The party is just getting started. He stands up, and as he does, he trips and falls. I try not to laugh as I help him up. Okay, seriously, sir. I don't want Sir Sarah seeing you like this. You're such a party pooper bitch, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new insult. I help him up and guide him toward the door. He could barely walk. He must have drank the entire bar. As we were walking, he was going so much slower than usual. His house was halfway across town, while mine was much closer. You know... You know not that he want him over or anything, but it would be much easier. Sir, do you just want to crash at my place? Yeah, yeah, whatever. He said, barely paying attention. Let's go, the ship is I... shipping itself, let's go! <laughs> let's fucking go! Smash. <laughs> 25 minutes go by, and we are finally at my apartment door. I push the door open and guide Adam to my couch. You can sleep here, sir. Is that alright? I say. Yeah, sure, that's fine. He replied, half awake. I see him fall like a tree onto my couch, and he immediately fell asleep. Thank God. Now I can get some sleep. I went to go take my uniform off and put my big shirt back on. I climbed back in my bed, ready to finally go to sleep, when Adam starts talking again. Loot, he said. Yes, sir, I said with a growl. Thanks for putting up with my shit. It's not a problem, sir. Now go to bed. Loot, one more thing. Yes, sir. What is it? I think I kind of love you. Passing out on the couch <laughs> after he's saying that. Let's no! go! <laughs> no, Adam, you can't add just like this. <laughs> Come on! I'm, you, you are making my edging streak fail right now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, <laughs> first chapter and we already got a confession. Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh my god. What, how many ch chapters are there? Isn't that like 10 more? What, what's supposed to fill in oh, the gap what? now? <laughs> <laughs> what else do we have? I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, I, I do have a complaint with some fan fictions out there where as soon as the main couple gets together, the fan fiction ends. Like, we don't ever get to see them be a couple, so maybe this is it, where they start dating this chapter and we get to see them go on date after date and love each other and, like, for, like, eight of them, like, eight more. This is Holy shit, I will die. I'll, <laughs> like, crawl under my bed and die whilst reading it. Yeah, me too, I also die while reading this. <laughs> So if you hear a crash, it's just me dying. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I look over. You have like the uh, like the the Peter Griffin pose of like <laughs> like you're f <laughs> fucked up. Oh, that's just my regular posture. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> it's nothing. All right, Adam's POV. I swear to God, if he has no idea what the fuck happened last night, I'm gonna be really fucking pissed. <laughs> like, what a dumbass. How yeah. do you not remember anyway? He's ugh. <laughs> As I open my eyes, I realize I have no idea where the hell I am. My eyes hurt and I reek of cheap booze. I don't remember anything that happened last night. Who the fuck- and whose fucking couch am I on? I scan around the room and get jump scared by a psycho bitch. That's- By psycho bitch. That's the nickname I gave Loot. Morning oh, cool. so- <laughs> It's not danger tits? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, sir. Loot suddenly stated. Jesus fucking Christ, Luke. You scared the shit out of me. I replied. My apologies, sir. Loot was standing up straight with her mask on and her hands behind her back. What the hell happened? And where am I? I asked. You're in my place, sir. You got super drunk and crashed here. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess. Not an issue, sir. Loot seemed off. Even with her mask on, I could tell something was bothering her. Something wrong, tits? I asked. <laughs> <laughs> I should- I should say that to- <laughs> I should- <laughs> Something wrong tits. <laughs> if I ever see Cameron upset, I should just be like, Something wrong jit- tits. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong jits? That's even worse. Oh, I just can't- <laughs> I don't know why my- my own brain fucked up the letters. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong jizz. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I didn't mean to say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Pause, I didn't say that, guys. Guys, stop, don't cut that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't clip that, please. Yeah, I see you actively clipping. <laughs> you have your own recording that's going on that you're clipping and shit. I'm saving this for later. This is my opportunity. <laughs> no, sir, she replied. Look, if it's about me getting drunk, I'm sorry. It's fine. We need to get going, she said, cutting me off, obviously wanting me to move on from this conversation. I didn't have a change of clothes here, so it looks like I'm going to have to train in a booze trench robe. Lou and I left her apartment and were walking side by side down the... Uh... The... Promenade? Yeah, uh, the street. <laughs> Getting towards the train <laughs> yeah, center. I get this is heaven, but we don't gotta be fancy about it. It's, it's a it's a crosswalk. <laughs> it's the sidewalk. Yeah, it's simple. <laughs> Lou was extra quiet and kept her mask on, which she doesn't usually do. It was eating me up. I felt- It was eating me up. I felt bad about making her deal with my shit. Lou, about last night, I said. I told you it's not a big deal. Let's just move on. She replied, annoyed. I put- I pulled her aside to get a one-on-one -on -one talk. Look, you're obviously upset, and I know I'm an uncontrollable piece of shit, but I really am sorry. <laughs> Luke shook her head and continued forward. I grabbed her hand. To, oh, she, he grabs her hand. Oh, oh my god. Oh my, oh my god, they touched. Everyone, Holy just shit. calm down. <laughs> Stay fucking calm. Stop the music. <laughs> I grabbed her hand and stopped her and she jolted away. She seemed to be really uncomfortable around me right now. After training, let's go to our normal spot and get something to eat. And we can talk about it then, okay? I said. Lute again shook her head and continued forward. When we got to the training center, Lute didn't hesitate to get started. She had her own little group of elite exorcists that she led. She started yelling and pushing those poor girls like I'd never seen before. I must have really messed up last night. Oh, God. he didn't fucking remember. This is bullshit. <laughs> Classic. How? Ugh. I didn't even think they had booze in, in heaven, but I, I guess so. Probably, probably just for him. Yeah, they're like, yeah, he's like, he was up to, at Sarah's feet, and she's like, he's like, please, 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 and she's like, fuck. He's like, he has all the booze for him, but he's kicked out of every bar. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Lou and I didn't see each other during the days as we both trained our separate groups, but I was dying for the day to end, and as I just wanted to ruin, to ruin my. As I didn't want to ruin mine and lose relationship over something, something stupid drunk Adam said. After a few hours of like, uh, wait, after a few hours, it felt like months. The the day was finally over. I went over to find loot by the sword rack. She was finishing putting the swords away. You ready? I said with an awkward smile. How did d does? Oh, he always wears the fucking mask, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's what the mask is. <laughs> <laughs> no! That's not the point of the <laughs> God, why do you do this? I'm sorry. I, I should be put down. <laughs> yeah, you should. We got to take you to a vet to get you euthanized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For for the brain rot and the vox simping, I think I need to be put down. <laughs> Yo, this is my dog. I need you to put him down right now. <laughs> yeah, you just dress me up as a dog. And I'm like, please, please don't do this. <laughs> It's like the agents from Hell of a Boss when he's wearing like that Luna oh costume. Oh my god, I'm wearing a fursuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think if anyone positions me to get put down, I think Heisen's gonna lead like the entourage of that. <laughs> oh god. He, he, oh, well, he, well, I will kill him and then I will take his place. <laughs> I'm going to kill you and then kill you again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring you back just so that I can kill you again. Yeah. <laughs> You ready? I said with an awkward smile. She shook her head and started to for the exit. Looks like the bitch is still giving me the silent treatment. The restaurant wasn't far from the training center, just a few blocks on the street. When we arrived, we sat down in our usual seats. We came here a lot. As we both order a drink, Flute finally takes off her helmet for the first time today. I almost forgot what she looked like under that thing. I didn't know how to start the conversation, so I just went for it. Can you please tell me what's wrong? I asked. Nothing is wrong. I'm just tired, she answered. Lou, I know you're fucking lying to me. <laughs> she didn't respond, the bitch. Did, oh, she didn't respond. The bitch didn't even give me eye contact. 
She finally sighed and said, Look, it was a rough night for me, and you don't get a lot of sleep. I was late for me and you, and I didn't get enough sleep. I just want to move on. Gee, I thought you liked- <laughs> Hey, yo! Hey, yo, Adam! <laughs> Adam, this is yo, not good! Yo. Gee, I thought Stay you liked off. it. <laughs> I feel like if- the, if, if <laughs> I- There- <laughs> I, I can't say that. I will get put <laughs> into horny jail so fast! <laughs> Elf's Elf gonna- Watch this stream, and he's gonna put you in the cell. I'm gonna have to defend your ass again. Yeah, I'm gonna. Can you be my lawyer? <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Luke couldn't help but you smile. Better, you better be paying me for the hours that I work. <laughs> I'm, I am paying you for animation. <laughs> well, pay me for my lawyering as well because you make my job hard. <laughs> Yeah, I don't make it easier oh. by me in the simping channel, making your case worse. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Luke couldn't help but smile. Her smile was so pretty, it made me feel so happy that she finally went back to normal. Being around this bitch makes me crazy. I feel lonely when she's not with me, but when she is, I'm the happiest I've ever been. But... I would obviously never tell her that. Um, actually. <laughs> Ooh, about that? Yeah, uh, who's gonna tell him? Yeah. <laughs> clip that, clip that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Use it against him in trial. Oh, yeah. Your Honor, he he do be down bad. <laughs> Your Honor, he do be simping. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing you up on simping charges. <laughs> The evidence is conclusive. This man needs to go to jail for simping. Yeah, Your Honor, he is not bawling in this courtroom right now. <laughs> Your Honor, he broke my edging streak. <laughs> Your Honor, I cannot mew anymore because of this man. <laughs> Your Honor, he is not Sigma. <laughs> Your Honor, I claim that the defendant is a beta. Your Honor, you know what? L plus ratio. <laughs> Objections receding hairline. <laughs> Objection, lack of coolness. Objection, lack of father figure. <laughs> Objection, um, you are not Sigma. <gasps> well, shit, my case is over. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're back with Luke's point of view. Adam never fails to make me laugh. Even the way I treated him today, he was still trying to help. I know it wasn't his fault, but what he said last night won't leave my brain. I mean, he straight up admitted that he loved me. How can I just brush that under the rug? It was clearly the booze talking, but a part of me wants to know if that's how he really feels. Because I sort of feel the same way about him. <gasps> this whole scenario is complicated. Yes, let's fucking go! Date already! <laughs> now kiss! Yay, each other. Yeah. I'm glad you're back to normal, Tiz. Adam said in the middle of me thinking. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now, I replied. Finally, our food came and Adam wasted no time. He devoured all of it like it was his last meal. I wasn't too hungry, so I was just nibbling on some fries. When we finished, Adam paid and we left. The sun was setting while me and Adam were walking down the promenade. We were both silent, but it was a nice comforting silence. We were just enjoying each other's presence. Yeah, Not really gay. calling on Adam for being a big back. Yeah. <laughs> big man, <laughs> big man. <laughs> a big back, big back. <laughs> but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get what Adam said off my brain. It was eating me on the inside, but I didn't want to tell Adam and ruin what we have. I didn't realize how long we were walking until I noticed that we were right in front of my apartment. I guess I'll see you tomorrow, tits. Adam said, Yes, good night, sir, I replied. Before I got the chance to walk in, I saw Adam checking his pockets, seemingly looking for something. Is something wrong, sir? I say, turning back around. Can't find my phone. I think I may have left it on the couch. May I come in and grab it? He asked. Um, sure, just be quick. I will. We both head up the stairs and to my room. I open the door and Adam slides past me and heads for the couch. I go and take a seat on my bed waiting for him to find it so I could get changed. I zone out for a bit, still thinking about last night. 
I think Adam is trying to talk to me, but I couldn't pay attention. That's when I felt my bed shake a little and realised Adam is sitting next to me. You know, you're way too good to me, he said out of the blue. What kind of lieutenant would I be if I didn't watch over you? I said with a smile. Adam gave me a cute little laugh and set his hand down just inches away from mine. Just kiss already! <laughs> <laughs> this is progressing so fast! I could feel my face turning red. I look over to Adam and I see that he's also in his own world, probably thinking as well. He looked uneasy, probably trying to remember what he said last night. I don't know why, but I felt the need to comfort him. I stood over and put my head on his shoulder. He seemed to like it as he put his head on mine. Yo! <laughs> Let's go! We stayed like this for a good while. I could tell we were both very new to this. After a good while, Adam moved his head and put his hand to my face. My face was burning red. What was he doing? He took his mask off for the first time in God knows how long. When he took it off, I was mesmerized and I had forgotten that what he had looked like. Smash! But I'm what? sorry. <laughs> Phoenix! I'm, I'm sorry! <laughs> Go back to your cell, I'm reading! Fine! Didn't want to be here anyway! <laughs> But one thing I could tell is that his face was also as red as mine. His face inched closer to mine every second feeling like a lifetime. He was still holding my face as he was getting closer. His lips were just moments away from touching mine. I could feel the warm breath from his mouth as he puckered up his lips and... I'm <gasps> sorry, I can't. I say no! that to him away. Kiss him! <laughs> Do it now! <laughs> this is a threat! <laughs> You don't get a choice. <laughs> and truthfully, I wanted it as much as he did, but I knew it wasn't going to end well for either of us. I'm so sorry, Adam. I didn't meet... No, no, it's my fault. I got caught up in the moment, he said, cutting me <gasps> off. Wow. I'm going to shoot both of them. <laughs> Let me get my shotgun. Yeah. I shouldn't have put you in that position, he added. He got up and put his mask back on. Adam, it's not like that, it's your fault. I found my phone and I'll just see tomorrow, Adam said, cutting me off again. Wait, Adam, I tried calling for him, but Adam quickly left my room, leaving no chance for me to talk. I groaned as I laid down. I didn't want to hurt him. Now tomorrow is gonna suck. This Damn. is stupid. This is dumb. Killing myself. This is really <laughs> fucking stupid. Get it together. Oh my god. Th this is like every other fucking fan fiction. This could be solved with a simple thing called, I don't know, talking, communicating, expressing. Why is everyone so bad at communicating. Just, just do it. Yeah. Yeah, unlike me. I, I'm a master at communicating. It's just that no one understands me. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, sure. Hey, I saw that. <laughs> I'm in your walls right now. <laughs> oh, you came over from America to hide in my wall. Yeah, I was. I was trying to. <laughs> I was trying to steal that robe of his back. Hey, no. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> no. Wait, you're reading fan fiction in my walls. No, I actually, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was reading SG34 fanfiction right before this recording and everything. <laughs> what do you mean, you? Ugh, Phoenix, I don't wanna be here anymore. You guys just <laughs> really awkward. Alright, guys, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of the video. I'm never coming back. Damn. What are you, elf? And just like, why do you keep sharing, sharing this, this ship with me? <laughs> I don't want to hear about the the uh, the gay blue boy. Yeah. Oh my god. You sound like Jolene. Actually, anytime I bring up the ship or Mr. Puzzle, she's like, God, it's a one ship. <laughs> Everyone's just sick of your shit, Phoenix. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do I need to make an apology video? <laughs> yeah, you got to bring out the ukulele. Yeah, oh my god. I'll, I don't have a ukulele, but I have a kazoo in the basement. I can bring out. <laughs> you. You have an actual kazoo. It's one uh, of those party ones. So, <laughs> you know what? I'm not surprised. Yeah, I can, I can 
Right, I'll, I'll stare at the camera and then pull out the kazoo and like do the little kazoo noise and then I'll just be like, I want to apologize for the way I acted a couple these couple past weeks, you know. <laughs> just it's... and then every once yeah, in a while I'll just blow it. Like... Yeah, every once in a while during my <laughs> during my apology, I just blow on the kazoo. <laughs> Can't believe you. Yeah. You're so unserious. Yeah, <laughs> that, I'm just a silly little guy. You can't be mad at a silly little guy. <laughs> I guess not. I guess not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just built different. Just like Adam over here, who just doesn't want to accept that he has feelings for Lou- Oh, which- <laughs> <sighs> Adam's POV, I swear to fuck it. This is not me like, actually, I really love you, and she's like, oh my god, I love you too, and they don't make out at the end of this chapter. <laughs> if there isn't a sloppy make out after <laughs> this, I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quitting life. My subscription ends. <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. I really am. Yeah. Yes. I mean, sorry. Anyway, I just, I just got Luke back to being normal, and I went and ruined it again. I thought she was intimidating. Wait, she, in, fuck, in. I thought she was doing something when she put her head on my <laughs> shoulder, but I guess not. God, I feel so dumb right now. Why did I do that? She tried to explain it, but I left before she could. I couldn't stand to be there any longer. It's been four hours since it happened. I'm still questioning my actions. I want to get drunk, but I don't want to go to a bar. I want to sleep, but I don't think I'll be able to after tonight. She was the only thing on my mind. I just sat at the foot of my bed looking at my mask, the reflection of which shone a broken loser piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Relatable. Yeah, me every time I look in the mirror. Me call. <laughs> you freak! <laughs> <laughs> me if you even care. <laughs> This could be us, but you tripping. <laughs> this could be us, but you have to be a little bit. <laughs> I sat there for what seemed like hours, not moving until the sun came up. I was still in, in a boost scented robe, so I needed to take a shower before training today. I turned the shower on, not caring what temperature it was at. When I climbed in, tears came out. I couldn't help myself, but I felt broken and unworthy of love. I mean, to be fair, he did have two wives, and I don't see them anymore, you know? <laughs> Stolen by Lucifer. Yeah. Is it actually both of them? I know Lilith for sure. But... Well, in the Bible, I'm pretty sure that one of their children is actually Lucifer and Eve's child, <gasps> so I think so. You know the Bible lore? <laughs> I do know the Bible lore. I think it, it's Cain that is actually Lucifer and Eve's uh, son. That's some crazy so. shit. I can't wait to look that up later. <laughs> <laughs> Lilith is in the Bible, and she was supposed to be Adam's first wife, but it's never mentioned. Damn. I love that you know the, the, the lore of the Bible. The religious trauma go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> After some time, I finally s s stepped out and put on some a fresh new robe. This was going to be a hard day. I just don't know if I can face her today, but I'm going to have to have to at some point. I made my way to the training center. I usually walked with loot, but obviously I didn't want to today. I made my way inside, but it was empty. I was confused why until I realized that today was Saturday, so no one was supposed to be here. That was a relief. I had more time to prepare myself. I decided that I should train by myself today to try to get my mind off of it. I went and opened the door to the main training room when I saw her. Loot was training by herself. It looks like she got the same idea as me. If they don't make- I don't- if they don't have a sloppy makeout session in the training hall. <laughs> the soulmates tend to copy each other's actions, so oh what God. does that mean? Also, I have a question. Is is Lutus like a, a winner that uh, just that turned into an exorcist, or is she hellborn? Sorry, not hellborn, heavenborn. I'm not sure. I saw someone say that all of the exorcists were made by Adam, so I don't know. Yeah, I need I need Vivian on this shit. Vivian, <laughs> can Vivian I... Pop, can you call me in here real quick? We yeah. Need a yeah, she just joins the the, v, the VC and just answers their question and then just t disappears. Let's get Vivzy pop up in here. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the question will be answered when, when I finally get the fucking playbill after, uh, I don't know, six months of waiting for it. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I was <laughs> and so... And they made the excuse that Alistair 
was the one stopping the printing press. Yeah. Oh my god. That, I, I get they're trying to stay in character for it because they did that with the whole shipping thing. They had Husk send out the like the emails and whatnot, but oh, that pissed me the fuck off. <laughs> yeah, that's some just, cringy shit. Yeah, just be honest with me. <laughs> just, stop just pretending stop. to be Charlie. No. <laughs> Stop gaslighting me with this cute girl, alright? Just tell me why. <laughs> uh, okay, I get it. You're fucking with me. This is an interesting roleplay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's full moon all over again. <laughs> Never done a roleplay like this before. <laughs> <laughs> she, she looked at me, and we just stared at each other for what felt like forever. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll leave, I said as I went to turn around. No, wait, don't go, she yelled as she flew over to me. I stopped and turned around and she grabbed my hands. What happened last night? I swear to fucking God. <laughs> it does, doesn't fucking it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> what happened last night wasn't your fault. I promise. I, I was just, wasn't. She paused for a moment. I just never experienced that before and I was afraid of losing our relationship. That's- okay, that- that's valid. Okay, okay, fine. I can't be mad at her anymore. She, she, Fair enough. You know- you know what? You get off- now- don't clip that. <laughs> <laughs> you get off with a warning. Lou, clip that shit! <laughs> don't clip that shit! I didn't mean it like that, guys! Oh my god. So fucked up. <laughs> Those words left me in a daze. I was happy for the fact that she still wanted to talk to me, but hearing her say she didn't want to kiss me because she viewed me just as a friend burned me to the core. That's what she meant. No! No! Killing myself. Do you want to? Do you want to join me on like the Brooklyn Bridge and we just jump off? <laughs> the Brooklyn Bridge? No, you can join me on the London Bridge. <laughs> All right, that works. <laughs> I don't want to lose our relationship either, I re replied. As I said that, Lute squeezed me and gave me the biggest hug ever. This girl was giving me such mixed emotions. For first she's saying that she doesn't want to lose our friendship, and then she pulls this shit like, man. <laughs> <laughs> you want to train with me then? She asked, still holding her hand out. I have nothing better to do, I replied. We trained for these three hours until I finally had enough. I was so tired that I didn't get any sleep, plus the training, I'm so fucking beat. That's enough for me today, tits. I tell Loot. Yeah, same. Do you want to go to our usual spot? She says. Sorry, babe. I- I- I whopped? Whooped. I whooped. <laughs> I whooped. <laughs> Man, I'm fucking beat right now. I need some sleep. Oh, okay. I look back at her and realize she looks upset about it. Great, now I'm upset. Hey, don't be sad. I'll I'll take you to the gardens tomorrow to cheer you up. How about that? They have, like, the... Oh, I'm trying to remember the name of that. Like, the... I can do this. Phoenix, you can do this. You can remember how to pronounce words. Botanical! It, Botanical Gardens! Botanical. <laughs> I think. <A> botanical Gardens. <laughs> I don't know. I'm... <laughs> I remember I went there with school once to go on a photography ship. It, it, it was the lamest shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to look at flowers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Flower, all these gross ass flowers. In I don't want to be in nature right now. What the fuck? <laughs> Who do you think I am? <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to look at these flowers right now. I got better things to do. Yeah, I'm supposed to be reading fan fiction right now. I don't wanna- I don't wanna be flower. <laughs> what that, Rose? <laughs> Was that one supposed to be an orchid? <laughs> I feel like we've just, like, insulted someone out there. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> we- we just offended every tree hugger in the vicinity right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry, southern people. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm sorry that you're southern. <laughs> It was very wrong, and I'm very, <laughs> very sorry. sorry. I just want to move on. And get a better life. You know, have a kid and a wife. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, she says. Her expression changes to being happy. Good, I'll see you then. We wave each other goodbye, and I don't know how to feel right now. On one hand, we're back to being this, on the same page, but on the other hand, it's clear she only views me as a friend. Right? That's what I got from that. Or was I just blowing it out of proportion? Doesn't matter. I need to go home. I don't know what if... I don't know if I'll be able to sleep. 
Give me the mic. Give me this fucking, fucking mic right now. Fucking friends are enough. I swear to fucking god. <laughs> the this the lack of chapter, communication. <laughs> loot, I'm gonna be reading your point of view, and if you don't get your shit together, <laughs> I, if you don't fly over and kiss that man, I'm gonna be real, real mad. I'm gonna be real mad. <laughs> if you don't fly over and kiss this man, I will do it. <laughs> I will make up with this man. <laughs> yeah, I will do it myself. I'll fly over. No problems there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Loot's point of view. Well, that went better than I thought. I assumed he was still mad at me after everything that happened last night. I will admit, I'm a little sad we aren't going to our spot tonight. But he's taking me to the garden tomorrow. I can feel my face burning red just by the thought of it. No, Luke, you can't be with him. But I want to so badly. His presence is so warm and comforting. But how would the rest of heaven view it? That's something I don't want to take a chance on. Just get over it. Fucking bullshit. You have- Charlie is the, is the princess of hell and she's dating a sinner. What, get over yourself. <laughs> she's dating an angel. Get over yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it felt weird walking home by myself. Adam usually walks with me. I start blushing again. God, Luke, you gotta stop, I say out loud. As I finish walking and head up to my room, there's something standing in front of my door. Hey there, baby, some annoying <laughs> voice said. Fuck, it's my landlord. It's the first of the month. You know what that means, gorgeous. <laughs> says trying to flirt. <laughs> but the, uh. <laughs> but the, uh, get out of here with that. <laughs> I got your money right here, I say while trying to hand him it. He takes it, then gives me the stupidest look ever. You know, there are other ways to pay me, he <laughs> says with a devilish- Ugh! <laughs> devilish Killing spark. myself. I had a, like a, a physical reaction. <laughs> yeah, my body had a reaction <laughs> to that. It was yeah, not in a good way. And like my body, it had a physical reaction. You keep that to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> me talking about fuck. Literally everyone else is just like, yeah, you, you keep that on your side. Yeah. <laughs> Not just in a fucking million years, I reply, storming past him and slamming my door. I swapped out my uniform for more comfortable clothes and sit on my couch to watch TV. I wasn't really paying attention to what was on. All I could think about is how excited I am for the gardens tomorrow. I was thinking how special of a place it was, but why would Adam want to bring me? Then it clicked. He was confess his love to me. He's oh no 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 no! no. Oh, that's not good. There's no other reason he would ask me to the gardens. I had to stop it. I didn't want to break his heart. I'm gonna fucking but, kill myself. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get a Glock and I'm gonna put it to my head if you do not. <laughs> oh, I but swear to I God. Feel like I feel the same about him. So. Maybe. No, I can't. I put my uniform back and flew out of my apartment. I had to go to Adam's house. I had to tell him no. Oh my god! <laughs> For fuck's sake! You know, we thought at the start of this, this is gonna be one of those stories that was like, they get together at the start. <laughs> Man, no. how wrong we are! We're, we're yelling at it! To, we're yelling at a book right now! <laughs> if only we knew! <laughs> It took me a while to get there. It was about 7.30 and the sun was settling, but I had to confront Adam. When I arrived, I was amazed on how big his house was. That can wait for later. I went up his steps and started pounding on his door. But nothing happened. Is he not home? I knock again and still no response. I sigh and I go to turn and leave when I hear the most beautiful thing ever. It was a guitar, but where was it coming from? I walked around the side of the house when I saw Adam sitting on his roof. His mask was off and he was playing his guitar. I always knew that he was great at playing the guitar, but he never played something like this. He usually played hard rock and roll, but this was different. He was calmly and slowly strumming each chord with the most delicate hand movement. Then he started singing. It was slow, but memorizing. He wasn't screaming like he does when he sings his rock songs. His voice was so pretty it was like a drug. I could have stayed in that bush all night. <coughs> Everything about him in this moment was so perfect. It was falling under his spell. I had to get out of this bush. 
I finally managed to escape that bush and sneak my way off his property. While I was walking home, my head was buzzing with so many different emotions, questioning what to do. I do love him, but I want to protect him, to protect us. Who knows what Emily, Sarah, Hell, even Michael would say if they saw us. I don't know what to do. Do I go with my heart or with my head? Who the go fuck is Michael? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know who Michael is? It's just its just a guy named Michael. He's like, hi guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just some random winner named Michael. Mm -hmm. he, he's not important at all. Who the fuck is Michael in the, in the, in the Christian lore? <laughs> uh, Lucifer's brother. Oh shit! <laughs> My bad! Nah, he's, nah, he's not important, don't worry about him, guys. <laughs> just, I really thought it was just a guy named Michael. <laughs> what would oh, Michael I'm say? So <laughs> I'm so surprised you don't know who Michael is. Dude, I don't know my Christian lore, alright? I know a few of the stories, but that that's all. Well, that's fine. It, honestly, good for you, I'm jealous. Yeah, I know like, the whole Adam and Eve thing with the apple. I know the one where some guy was gonna kill his son, and then when the angel was like, "Wait, dog, stop! It was a prank! It was a prank!" <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, what the like Jonah and the whale, where he got he was like, "No, I don't want to go do that," and God said, "No," -uh, and swallows him <laughs> and spat him out there anyway. Your version of the Bible would be amazing because you're just like, "No." -uh. Yeah, Gen Z, they wrote the Bible. <laughs> yeah, like the story of Job, and it's just like, Job saying, uh, nuh uh. And God was like, the fuck you mean, nuh uh, and summoned a whale to eat him? <laughs> You're talking about Job? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Honestly, man, you know what? I'm happy for you. <laughs> yeah. And then obviously, Jesus getting crucified, or when it was that one. <laughs> uh, that yeah, was a classic. That that old shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a classic for the records. <laughs> yeah, you know, that one's not really important at all, so we can forget about that one. Yeah. Also, I'm, uh, I was half imagining when uh, Adam was playing his guitar of, like, that one vine where he's like, I love you, bitch. I ain't never gonna stop <laughs> loving you, bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw a compilation of, uh, like, Has Been Hotel as vines, <laughs> and it was Adam on... <laughs> On the guitar going, I love you, bitch, to um, Lilith, and then Lucifer's just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, uh, Adam's plea over you. All right. I swear to God. <laughs> Author. <laughs> the time has come, and I knew I had what I had to do. I read that the guard is an hour early, around 6 p.m. I kept pacing back and forth, just thinking of my next movements. I knew Lute was watching me play the guitar. Had oh, you heard the rustling in the bush? Cool. <laughs> like oh yeah, you heard that? Cool. Yeah, I even glanced over to see how pink her face had gotten while watching me. I was convinced that she had feelings for me. I just kept thinking of this was the right time to admit my life. Mm -hmm. I'm freaking oh, no. <laughs> I mean, after all, she did reject my kiss, but it's just. But that was just the heat of the moment, right? This question kept racing my mind. If she liked me back, why did she reject me? Was it too soon for a kiss? Did I throw her off? I have no idea! I had completely <laughs> lost- Yeah, this guy's an idiot. This is a bimbo right here. I'm fucking dumbass over here. Yeah, get your shit together, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I had completely lost track of time, because when I checked my watch, it was 7.12 on- on- it said 7.12 on it. Fuck, she's gonna be here soon! I started slowly panicking inside. The nervous system was catching up to me. After about five minutes, she arrived. It was the first time he had seen her out of uniform. She was wearing the most beautiful black sh skirt. J just that? Or... <laughs> uh, yeah, like, has she got nothing else on? Or... Yeah, please tell me she has other clothes on, please. <laughs> Luckily, That'd I had... Really yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we're in public. <laughs> Luckily, I had my mask on, or everyone would see how red my face was. As she walked up, I couldn't even let out a word. I just offered her my hand before- Oh, but after a few seconds, she took it. I didn't know how I felt about the hesitation, but at least she took it. We walked along the path for a few minutes until we saw the perfect spot under a tree to watch the sunset. I sat down first, and Luke then stands there before looking unsure if she should follow. 
I motion to sit next to me, and she follows through with it. At this point, we haven't said a word to each other. As we sat down, she was... She was close to me. But not too close enough where we were touching. I gently motioned my hand and placed it on top of hers. She didn't move. And lets it happen. I swear. <laughs> this is an ending yeah, with a makeup session! <laughs> Just kiss. We sat there like this for a few until she look, moves over. Again, I put my head on her shoulder. Oh, she puts her head on my shoulder. Oops. She looks upset like she wants to tell me something. I just embrace her, wrapping my arm around her. It was nice, perfectly silent and calm. But I came here for one goal and one goal only. I, clear I finally clear my throat to speak for the first time. <clears throat> um, Loot, I ask. Yes, sir? She states. She takes a second to respond. I take a deep breath as a sentence could change everything. I, uh, I, I couldn't spit out the words. I love you, Loot, I finally say. So he takes a minute and slowly pushes me away. No! <laughs> oh! Alright, <laughs> I'm gonna go bite the curb. <laughs> oh. Sir, I, uh, I can't, she finally lets out. I felt my heart shatter into a million pieces, but I wasn't going to give up that easily. Ooh, whatever you're afraid of, I promise I'll take care of it. I try to reassure. It's more complicated than that, sir. I'm sorry. She responds. I can feel tears starting to swell my eyes. Please, loot. I want you more than anything. <gasps> like the song. <laughs> I promise nothing will happen. Uh, loot begins to tear up. It just can't happen, she yells. I just sit there in silence, trying not to cry. I should've known this was gonna happen ever since the night you got drunk, she said, trying to mumble. T she said mumbling to herself. What did you just say? I responded. Everything started clicking together. The night it was drunk, I must have admitted. She already knew. <laughs> Fuck! Man, this is the worst love story I've ever fucking said. <laughs> this is so... Oh, I'm so upset right now, guys. This is so sad. Alexa, play Despacito right now. <laughs> Uh, Despacito, play Alexa. <laughs> I saw her face change from crying to horror. I felt everything inside me die all at once. She knew and kept it from me. She played with my feelings. You knew I loved you and you didn't tell me? I let out an angry yell. It's not that sim- It's not as simple as that, sir, she said, trying to calm me down. You knew, yet still played with my feelings? I let out a very emotional yell. I didn't do shit- I didn't do shit you could- you convince yourself, she yelled back. I started bawling my eyes out. Everything this past week has been a lie. Tell me why. What's wrong with me? I asked. I- You know how it would be looking upon the other angels if we- they saw us together? She said, trying to confront me- or comfort me. I pushed her away before taking my mask off and looked her right in the eyes. Do you love me, Lute? I asked. Sir- Answer the question. Do you love me? Loot lets out a big sigh. No. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I'm gonna kill Loot. You know what, Adam? I can treat you so much better. Just, uh, just, just come over here. Oh my god, this sounds like me with Fox right now. He just pushes Val aside. I, I can take care of you, baby girl. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I, I can give you so much more. Yeah, don't- don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, you still have me. <laughs> you don't know me yet, but it's fine. Yeah, you'll get- we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there faster than this, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was the nail in the coffin. I didn't have any control over my emotions. Then get out of here. I don't want to see your fucking face. I said angrily. Don't do this, sir. Loot says, cleaning her fist. You hurt me, bitch. I tried to say words that would hurt her, like how she hurt me. Loot began to cry. Fuck you, Adam, she says, with tears streaming down her face. I put my mask on and began to walk away. I didn't have the stomach to put that- to look at that whore right now. Don't show up a train tomorrow, I tell her while walking away. I won't show up tomorrow ever again. I quit. You hear me? I fucking quit. I hear her shout in the distance. Um, this is... I don't want to read angst. I thought this was going to be cute. <clears throat> I'm so fed up. I'm I I'm just pissed off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Adam, 
come over here, please. I'm telling you now, I can treat you so much better than this. Uh, <laughs> three months later, I still haven't seen or heard of from Lutz since that altercation. She finally quit being an extra set, like she said. I thought about calling her every night, but then I thought of her saying no to loving me swept in my brain. I'm the first fucking man. I don't need some bitch on my mind. Every day, it, I it's time to move on. Damn. So, <laughs> I hate- I don't wanna read <sighs> angst! I didn't realize this was oh. angst, I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> I want to read the fluffy stuff. <laughs> Yo, me too. Let's write our own Adam X loot. <laughs> yeah, let's let's do writing streams and we can write it. We can write our own. Oh god, one at a time. I still had to finish my Vox X Phoenix fan fiction. <laughs> yeah, but that's just your fantasy. <gasps> Nobody cares about that. <laughs> Apart from you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm crying. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's I'm it. Sorry. This is going in my 13 reasons uh, list. <laughs> no, <laughs> Phoenix, I'm so sorry. I'm not. No. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Damn, I'm being no. I'm being bullied in in stream. I'm being bullied in in this in the Discord server, and now I'm being bullied on my own recording. Right now, <laughs> this is a new level yeah. for me. You got so. You got so little riz <laughs> that you get bullied on your own <laughs> video. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> okay, so we're back to Luke's point of view three months later. Yeah, three but months from wait, 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 wait. I think we should break it there. It's a cliffhanger. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Gotta edge, edge these people. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta edge these bozos. I'm glad we're on the same page. We gotta edge these fuckers. They're not getting the satisfaction of seeing this thing finish yet. <laughs> yeah, get fucked. We got our emotions played, so get yours played. <laughs> yeah, shit stain. <laughs> <laughs> Elbows, though. Yeah, get bitches. <laughs> now we're bullying your viewers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's me in every stream. <laughs> It, right. It's unfortunate, Phoenix, but it has yeah. to happen. Yeah, on Fortnite. <laughs> Ugh. But the, uh. <laughs> Brother, uh. I want to know how many times I've gone. Uh. <laughs> All right, I it's, think it's just a reaction I have. I can't help it. You, me too. When I say womp womp, it's just a reaction to shit. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. Yeah. I, I think I already know the answer to this, but how, how do you feel after reading this? What What is your verdict? I feel like shit. <laughs> I just want them to communicate. Just just do it, bozo. Yeah. Be better. Yeah, do better. <laughs> How about your verdict? You know what? Even though it's angst, I think it was pretty pretty well written. I I uh, I could I could see this happening. Yeah, why not? Mm, yeah, I want to read more, so I will probably be back. Yay! Another member! Yay. <laughs> Welcome to the club! It's me and Jolene and, and Minho. That's all we have. <laughs> That's all we Indeed. have left! <laughs> Yay! I'm the best. Don't yeah. even try and overthrow me. Yeah. <laughs> this is my first episode, but I'm already better. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're a lot better than most of the people I've, I've had in here. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. Imagine they're watching this. <laughs> oh, just... I hope so. You know who you are. <laughs> yeah, calling you out on your shit, whoever you are. Yeah. I don't know you, but fuck you. No, that's a good thing. <laughs> well, I'm glad I can be better than them. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Highly appreciate it. On screen somewhere is a playlist of all the other Wattpad book club readings I've, I've done in the past. And then on screen is also the last book club reading that was uploaded before this one, I guess. I don't know when this will be uploaded. Maybe it's going to be box. That's just... <laughs> it probably is. I think it is the box one that's going to be on screen. <laughs> Everything on your channel is just Vox now, so expect something Vox related on the screen. Yeah, I gotta I gotta rig the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> and then thank you, Sage, for joining. Highly appreciate you, bitch. Uh, no problem. Yeah, so if you go to their 
if you see them in the Discord server, make sure you ask them to get a submission, like a commission. Not a submission. <laughs> commission. Yeah, just be submission. <laughs> yeah, submission and breed them all. You see me in the Discord server, just fall to your knees immediately. <laughs> <Do> you <laughs> I, we need to see barking in chat immediately. <laughs> Meowing is highly appreciated. <laughs> Anyway, there's links down there. I don't know what they do. Just click on everything, man. Just, don't worry about it. But, uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Sage, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.